Hey, Barberton, this is Mayor William Judge with this week's question and answer session. Uh, first question, I've heard online that there's supposed to be a new police station or that there will be um, a new building here soon. If true, when and where will this new station be expected? Um, the city of Barberton's office building here, the administration building houses, the administration houses the courts and the police department, including the city jail. This was built in 1952. In 1958, just six years later, the city started looking for a new facility. This is a great building, but there's a lot of updates that need to happen. And a lot of things that we do in our operations today that they did not do back in the 1950s. So we've been working on this uh, essentially since 1958. Um, since I came into office, we've really been trying to tackle this. Um, where do we put a new facility? What does it look like? What does it cost? Uh, we want to make sure that it's functional for users, for employees, um, and for you, the community members. So uh, right now, we're still working on it. The thought is to have a new administration building and courthouse. Um, so we're working on that, which would include um, the police department. Um, so more information will be released soon, uh, but we're working on that. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. We've looked at state funding, federal funding, um, and continue to chip away at it um, as we want to make sure that our operations are as efficient and as effective as possible for you, the residents and taxpayers. Uh, next question um, talks about, uh, it's easy to post on Facebook, but what about citizens who don't want to use Facebook? Um, can the city make a page on their website for people to post uh, comments and, and questions on the city website. Um, that's a great question. Um, we're actually has, uh, we have a meeting uh, this week uh, with our current vendor who runs our, uh, our website. We've also worked, are working with uh, additional companies on addressing issues with our website and how do we make it more user friendly and how do we um, have more features that interact with the public. So it's a great question and it's something that we want to make sure um, it's easier for uh, you, the user, to, to maintain and make use of, but also to ask questions. Um, so more information on that as, as we move forward. Um, but also with that, the Barberton Gazette, a new newspaper to the city of Barberton, is uh, supposed to start here in a, a few weeks in August. So that's another way you'll be able to get information as well. Uh, next question. Uh, this resident has a downspout drain that was blocked off when they repaved the road. Uh, what can be done about this? Um, please contact me at mayor at city of or email me at 330, uh, excuse me, call me at 330-848-6719. Let me know your address and, and what road it is. Uh, we will get out there and we will take care of that um, very, very quickly. Um, all of the drains uh, should be open and, and free to flow um, after paving projects. Um, so we want to make sure that we can handle that and, and, and take care of that as soon as possible. So please contact me with your address and uh, we'll be out there that day. Next question. Um, any idea when Hopkin is going to be repaved on the west side? Yes. So West Hopkin from 8th Street downtown all the way to Hillsdale is scheduled for resurfacing. Um, and that'll start sometime this year. So that's a long stretch of road. Um, we're waiting to hear back from the Ohio Department of Transportation, who is overseeing that project, on an exact start date. Um, residents or businesses on that section of road will not be assessed for the cost. It'll be a resurfacing project, and we were able to get the federal government to cover about 80% of the cost of West Hopkin. So very, very excited about that. It's a long stretch of road. It's, it's uh, in need of uh, resurfacing, and that'll happen uh, sometime this year. Um, trying to get an exact date from the Ohio Department of uh, Transportation. Next question. Uh, storm sewer drain is clogged. I've only seen the city fix it once. Uh, how do we get it cleaned? Again, contact my office. Um, let me know the location of the uh, drain and we'll have someone out there to clean that. Um, and that should be on a, a regular basis. So we'll go out there and take care of that. Again, mayor at cityofbarberton.com or call me at 330-848-6719. Um, next question is on 17th Street Northwest. There are two water main breaks. Um, 
and they filled the holes with rock um, but have not come back to fully patch it with asphalt. Um, so they are out there um, updating and, and correcting these. Uh, they scoop out some of the rock. The rock is put in there to help uh, to get compacted in there and to help protect the new water line that's been uh, fixed. And then after a certain amount of time, they'll come back, they'll scrape off uh, a few inches of the rock and then replace that with asphalt so it's nice and smooth. So they're out there doing that now. I believe the water main breaks on 17th Street uh, Northwest um, is on the list and will be done uh, shortly. I don't have an exact time frame, and we're kind of at the mercy of when um, our crews are fixing emergency repairs and are able to get asphalt and get that handled, but that, that should be done uh, fairly soon. Again, please contact my office, and, and I can meet you at your house, and we can go over the exact process and, and see where that is on the list. So, um, Is there anything that can be done on the railroad tracks on Robinson Avenue before you go up the bridge? Uh, so there's a set of railroad tracks there. Um, the city does not own the tracks. The city does work with the owners of the tracks. Um, if you're talking about uh, potholes in and around the tracks, uh, yes, we have contacted the railroad company and uh, they should be maintaining that uh, as that's their property. But at times we go out and we maintain it as well because we want to make sure that the potholes don't expand and that we can get that covered uh, in a, a quick manner. Um, if your question is more specific to uh, anything else other than, you know, potholes in and around the tracks, um, please contact me and let me know um, what you're specifically talking about, and I can dig into that a little more and get you a better answer. Um, next question. Um, at any point, will we develop Block 7? Or is it going to remain a parking lot uh, for downtown events? So Block 7 is the name of the block on... Uh, the corner right there, it borders West Tuscarawas Avenue, 2nd Street, 3rd Street, and West Park. So this is where uh, kind of the center of uh, the city in terms of 2nd Street going to the north and West Tusk, those kind of two business districts. So uh, we are having plans to resurface that and keep it a parking lot. We have had some developers interested in acquiring that to put up uh, different developments. Uh, you know, the history of that lot, there were businesses there. There was a fire, and I believe this was back in the late 70s, early 80s, and at the time, uh, all the buildings went up in flames, and, and they were uh, torn down, and a parking lot was put in temporarily. Um, but over time, you know, parking uh, has become a necessity in, in downtown. We've been able to use that parking lot for a lot of community events. Um, and so right now the best course of action is to resurface it, restripe it, uh, have more parking there, um, which really caters to our downtown. Downtown is very easy to walk and, and navigate to the different stores and shops. Um, so, and also being able to do the community events in the parking lot is a great asset as well. Um, again, there are some developers who have reached out who are interested in that. Uh, so we always discuss uh, developments there and, and see what's the best course of action. Um, so things could change in the future, but it, it's a true asset right there where the two streets kind of intersect um, and also having that, that area for community events like the farmer's market. We've had concerts there. Um, just a lot of great things that we've been able to do on that lot. So, um, But we will be resurfacing that uh, very soon. Um, next question. Uh, who is responsible for Eastern Road between South Van Buren and State Route 619? Um, so this is kind of one of those oddity uh, areas where this road, it's on the border of Barberton, New Franklin, and Coventry Township. So all three entities have a ownership piece of that road. If you've been down that road, that's in desperate need of being resurfaced. Uh, Summit County Engineer's Office does the paving for Coventry Township. And we've been working with them and with New Franklin to split the cost on resurfacing that road. Um, so I'll look into that a little more. I, we've had discussions with them. We've had meetings um, and it does need fixed. Uh, it really doesn't make sense to go in there and just pave our section because that could be one lane. It would be uh, 
better for everybody. It'd be less costly and it'd be better for drivers and the construction company and all communities if we work together and resurface the entire road uh, all at one time. So I'm going to look into that and I'll be back in touch um, during question and answer uh, session with more information in the coming weeks. Uh, a couple more questions here. Uh, what is considered the Barberton Police jurisdiction? Um, so the jurisdiction is the, the city limits. Um, you know, there are certain cases where, you know, if they're chasing somebody, they may go into another jurisdiction with the help of, of that police department in, in that jurisdiction. Um, so it, it's kind of um, it stops at the border, but can flow over into another jurisdiction in certain cir cir situations. Uh, part of that question also is what are the circumstances where the Barberton Police Department are allowed to stop and or cite or ticket drivers? So if there's a suspected infraction of the law, they can stop you. Uh, if there's a safety-related issue, um, they can stop your car. So um, there's these situations that um, the police department is allowed to pull you over uh, and, and check on things. So and if there's a suspected infraction or an infraction of the law, they can cite you for those as well. And obviously safety-related um, issues as well. Uh, next question. Understand that residents uh, can do ride-alongs with the Barberton Police Department. Is the same uh, possible to uh, ride along or shadow code enforcers? Um, we don't allow the code enforcers to be shadowed by the public. Um, they are out with specific job duties um, and, and for the day, different tasks. And we don't want to take away from the, the task that they have. Um, but if you have questions on a certain property, if you have questions on how many citations have been issued, if you have questions on where the citations have been issued, um, again, contact my office. Um, we keep that, that information and we can get you that information um, as soon as possible. So uh, if you have questions on property maintenance issues or citations or a section of town or what have you, um, please contact my office and, and let's meet and I can get you all that information. Uh, last question deals with our parks. Uh, there's been a lot of upgrades to our parks uh, throughout town. Um, is there a plan um, for all the parks? And so the Parks Department, through the Parks Commission, over the years has put together a number of plans for our parks. Um, as time changes, as uh, costs change and funding levels change, um, and also, you know, throwing a pandemic in the middle of, of all this, there's been a lot of changes since um, a lot of these plans were put together, but we're making investments throughout our parks. Um, and so this includes, you know, parks on every side of town. So whether that's Anadine Park, uh, we're making plans and working through to make upgrades there. Uh, we're making plans or making upgrades at Tuscora Park and Webb Park and McCafferty Park, Breitenstein, Edgewood, uh, uh, Decker Park, Harder Park. Uh, Newton and Chrisman and Conrad and Waltz. So making a lot of upgrades at all of our parks. Each park is a little different. So the upgrades obviously are going to follow that and be a little different uh, for each park as well. So uh, just because you haven't seen anything come through city council or anything in the news about a specific park near your house, uh, doesn't mean that we're not discussing and, and pulling uh, quotes for upgrading the park and different amenities. Um, so we're going to have some park cleanup days here in the near future uh, in your neighborhood. So we'll get that information out. We're also going to uh, be revealing and working with the Parks Commission on some upgrades to some other parks that haven't been in the news uh, lately. So uh, look out for that. Our parks are a true asset of our community. We want to make sure that they're being utilized um, every day. So we want to make sure that we're bringing them up to where they need to be and, and putting in the amenities that will really um, spark that excitement in our parks again. So that's all the questions we have today. Um, I appreciate all the questions that come in. I appreciate you uh, tuning in to these videos. Please send in more questions and I'll check you out next week. Thanks.